have any. They are exotic and they are endangered too. Still ahead, Ken Suarez giving us an up close look at the animals at Big Cat Rescue. It's a little bit of the wild right here in the Tampa Bay area. Big Cat Rescue is just a stone's throw from Citrus Park Mall. I've got to get out there. I, I still know. haven't been out there. Not to Citrus Park Mall, to Big Cat Rescue. I've, I've got to visit this because the sanctuary has 70 big cats living there. And there are more on the way. The cats are about to get some company. They've got company today. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is there with a very special cat. Ken, special because there are so few of these left in the world. Actually, this is an Amour leopard. Her name is Natalia, and there are only 100 left in the wild. There are some other ones at places like this, at zoos and sanctuaries and that kind of thing. Now, she's over there. We're going to try to bring her over. Catherine is going in, and Catherine, can you just show us what you have? On a hot day, you think, I'd like some ice cream, or it kind of looks like an icy thing. But this is a special kind of icy. Catherine, this is what? This is a blood sickle. That's what we affectionately call it. It's basically blood uh, when we thaw the meat out that we use every day in their diets. We mix it with a little bit of water and then it makes a little popsicle for them. So let's see if it works. I mean, they are carnivores, they're beautiful animals, but they eat meat and apparently they like blood sickles as well. So throw it in and we'll see if we can bring her over. In the meantime, why don't we bring in Susan Bass? She is another spokesperson for Big Cat Rescue. Why are there so few of these left in the world? Natalia is a purebred Amur leopard, and Amur is an area of Russia, and she is the most rare cat in the wild anymore. There are just about a thousand left in the wild, and she came to us in December from a zoo in Omaha, Nebraska that um, had raised her and no longer was going to display her, so they wanted her to find a nice uh, accredited sanctuary to spend her retirement years. She's actually 17 years old, which is well over 100 in people years. So I guess things are looking up because I said 100, you said 1,000. Boy, do they multiply quickly, apparently. So uh, this is really kind of a special treat for us to come out here, for folks to see this at home. But you have an internship program where kids come, and I say kids, I mean 20-somethings come from all over the world to train here and then go elsewhere to work. Yes, we have an intern program, as you mentioned, and people can apply from all over the world online and do Skype interviews with our staff. And they um, come for three months at a time, live on the property, learn all about the cat care and the things that we do here at Big Cat Rescue. And a lot of them are, um, you know, they have to be at least 18. Some are having their gap year from college. Others are um, just interested in zoology or becoming veterinarians. And then locally, if any of your viewers wanted to be a volunteer here, we really need a lot of volunteers that um, they all they have to commit to is four hours a week here at the sanctuary. And they get to learn about the cats. And it's very glamorous. There's a lot of, you know, pooper scooping. <laughs> but uh, they get to spend time with the cats. And if people don't, they can always come, but I would say this, don't just show up at the door. You have to have a planned tour. So what you do is go on the website and you check it out. It is really, really a cool place to be. We're gonna show you more cats coming up and talk about some problems with cats. And we'll have that a little while from now. Back to you guys. I think she's done with her little popsicle, like, yeah. blood sickle, but because all the attention, she'll go back to it. Yeah. That's how some of us are with our summer treats. Better her than me. What yeah, can I tell yeah, you? Right, yeah. uh, and us. Thank you so much, Ken. We'll see you. Or as in a moment, getting up close to some exotic creatures there at Big Cat Rescue. Ken? Well, one exotic creature or non-exotic creature I want to talk about is puppies. You know about puppy mills. They breed dogs and more dogs and more dogs. Well, believe it or not, they have tiger mills. And this beautiful creature behind me was part of that process. We'll tell you about that coming up. Well, coming up, Priya is a beauty, but her kids are stars, or at least they used to be. Hundreds of people have taken pictures with them, but Big Cat Rescue says that they're, that Priya and her cubs have a high price for her fame, and we're going to talk more about that. We're going to do it right now with Fox 13's Ken Suarez live again at Big Cat Rescue in Citrus Park. Ken, tell us about Priya and her children. Well, bottom line is this. Let me just tell you how incredible their sense of smell is. We can talk about that, but it was amazing. This animal in the tees was up on the standards over here. Catherine, holding another blood sickle, was at least 150 feet away. The animal smelled the blood sickle and came down 
immediately. It's really kind of amazing. Terrible thing if we lose this in a while. But the bottom line is this. I'm going to bring in Susan Bash. She's going to tell us about this animal's background. Unfortunately, it's a story with so many different tigers. We were talking about puppy mills before, but they actually have tiger mills. Explain what, what that's all about. Yes, there are a number of breeders in this country all around different states. And for example, she came from a place in Colorado. A man owned 75 tigers and was continuing to breed more. What do you need 75 tigers for? Uh, you don't. He was obviously a collector or hoarder as well as a breeder. But um, when they're very young, people can make a lot of money by having the cubs um, sit on a little kid's lap, take a picture. They can make thousands and thousands of dollars doing that. But then once they're about 12, 13 weeks old, they're too large and dangerous to be sitting on little Johnny's lap and they become expendable. They go from very, being very lucrative money making to costing money. And she was a breeder and then she came here and she had all kinds of medical problems. Why so? Yes, we know for sure that we can trace back eight cubs to her and they use, do speed breeding. In the wild, these cubs would stay with their mothers for two years, but they're taken away from the mother, Priya in this case, when they're just days old and used for the cub petting. And so what that does is because they're being used for speed breeding, female tigers like uh, Priya here, they get a lot of reproductive organ cancers, uh, mammary cancers, uterine cancers, a lot faster than normal. When Priya got here the second day, our vets immediately knew something was wrong with her. We rushed her in for emergency surgery at our hospital, and it was found she had hydrometra, which was um, a, basically a mass on her uterus and had to have a 20-pound uh, mass removed from her. Ever so quickly, don't have a lot of time, but tell us what you're trying to do about this process. Right. We have a federal bill called the Big, pa Big Cat Public Safety Act. People can learn more by going to bigcatact.com and help us end this suffering. Essentially to do two things. Number one, to stop the breeding by backyard breeders, and then also to stop having uh, or allowing people to take pictures with the cubs. Exactly. Stop the direct contact with cubs, which is the crux of the problem in America. So if you want a picture, maybe not a bad idea to come here, book your tour ahead of time, stand in front of Priya, <laughs> and call it a day. Yes, perfect. Thank you. So I expect to see you guys out here in the not too distant future. I can tell you, this is a good gig. It's just wonderful to be this close to this kind of a magnif magnificent animal. Before I said to Susan, you know, oh, you just want to scratch them. They look so cuddly. And she was talking about when they throw in meat and you hear the crunch. So I think I'll stay on this side of the fence. Yes. Which is good for them anyway. So, all right, very interesting. Thank yeah, you. And again, that's bigcatacts.com if people want to get behind that mm -hmm. initiative to support the changing the laws and cut down on some of that illegal tiger breeding. Thanks, Ken. Yeah. Because of what's happening in other countries. And Ken Suarez will explain when we come back. 70 cats like that already live at Big Cat Rescue in Citrus Park. And this Christmas, they're getting three more. This time they're coming from a sanctuary in Guatemala after their life in the circus came to a pretty abrupt end. And Fox 13's Ken Suarez is live for us out at Big Cat Rescue. He's been showing us some really cool things so far. Yeah. And Ken, these three that are coming from Guatemala, why, why are they no longer doing the circus thing? Because there are so many countries that are saying circuses can no longer have exotic animals like elephants. You know what happened with Ringling a little more than two years ago? They got rid of the elephants and then they closed the show. Well, the question is, if you're not going to be in the center ring anymore, where do you live? His name was apparently Javier back when he was performing. But when Peru banned exotic animals and circuses, he came here to Big Cat Rescue and is now known as Hoover. This winter, he's expected to be joined by three more tigers, Max, Kimba, and Simba, all former performers as well. They're now under the care of animal activists. They've set up a temporary holding facility in Guatemala, and now they're reaching out to sanctuaries such as Big Cat Rescue to rehome these animals. Big Cat is waiting for the international paperwork to get done, then for a veterinarian to check to make sure they're healthy. In the meantime, dozens of other big cats are living in the facility as well and ready to be farmed out. It's a joy to see these animals finally get out of their little, little circus cages that they've been living in and they were, where they were forced to perform. And of course, it's, you know, it's a financial burden. We're a 501c3, so we live on donations. Each cat costs $10,000 a year for food, maintenance, and vet care. So just those three new cats are projected to cost $440,000 over the span of their lives. A pretty hefty bill in addition to the ones Big Cat Rescue already has. 
Now that rescue down in Guatemala also has lions. I understand that there's a new sanctuary being built in South Africa. The lions will be moved there, but there are also more tigers down there. As we said, Big Cat's going to get three of them. Where the rest of them will go is still unclear. Back to you guys. Yeah, and um, like you said, it's not it's not inexpensive to take care of these animals too, Ken. So um, how do they determine like what they're able to bring in and what they have to say no, we don't have room for? I think what they can afford, you know, they bring them in, they've got some money and they hope that other people donate to keep these animals going. If you go around here, you see on each of the cages, some people donate $500 or $10, $5,000, $10,000. So they're really hoping for the community to step forward and say, we want to support these cats, not only for this year and the next year, but throughout their lives, which, you know, as I said before, can be very, very expensive. Yeah, and Ken, sure. Ken, I know a lot of people watching this may be curious to know, this isn't open like a, a zoo. You can't just pay admission and go in. What, real quick, what would people need to do to come uh, make an appointment to visit Big Cat Rescue? Go on the website. You can either have a group tour or a private tour, but this is the kind of thing that it takes a lot of work. They want to keep people away from the cats. Safety is of utmost importance, so they really want to keep the group small. Since we've been here, a number have gone through, but they all have a leader, and you go with the entire group. Just because it's safe for the cats, it's safe for the people. Yeah, makes so sense. go on the website. All right.